What kind of MM rando is this? It's MM rando, but the beta version of MM, and also not randomized. How many subs for me to give chat a hearty yeehaw? Um, I don't know, a lot. Thanks for the three months, Fritcher Waffle. Robot voice. Wait, was I robot voice that whole time talking? Or do you guys just keep keep posting it even though it stopped a while ago? Okay. Just memeing, like always. Gonna throw it at the well? That's very optimistic of you. Marco's now a rando professional. Yeah, we lost Marco. Rip. Top left screen is the video of my PB. The video on the right half of my screen, that's the future record. I know it may not look like it right now, but someday. Are memes allowed here? Uh, in limited quantities. You must on only moderate memes. I am okay. You have no idea how okay I am. Hey, dries feet. Never. When did I graduate from rando speedruns? From rando to speedruns? I decided my, my long two or three day venture into MM Rando has finally come to an end. I spent a lot of time on it, had a lot of fun, but I think it's time, finally time for me to put down MM Rando and move on to new things like Ocarina of Time 100% speedruns. Thanks for nine months, Sour Juggernaut. Uh, yeah, totally. You're definitely my favorite sub. For sure. You know why? Because you, the person listening to this right now, are my favorite sub. If you're a pleb, that's alright. You're pretty neat too. Dang, almost 40,000 subs on YouTube. That's a lot. I'm not dead enough inside today. I'm sorry. Yeah, you better hide the numbers. Do I practice hessing through the haunted wasteland by hessing through the Arizona desert IRL? Yes. That is definitely how I practice. No. No. I wanted to crouch at it. Dude, I want to crouch stab the arm. Well, that was awful, but I wasn't actually frozen. Uh, this could be bad. I'm gonna use this. Okay. I- no. Whatever. I wanted to use the bomb to kill the keys, but also avoid getting frozen. I mean, I definitely don't want to not PB for this long, but it's understandable. Yeah, just play perfectly for four hours, forehead. How hard could it be? Thanks, Erectosaurus Rex, for gifting us up to just get world record forehead. Huh? What's so robot Monka S? Was there a noise? I didn't even talk, it couldn't be the robot voice. There was a blip. Oh. I don't think I hiccuped. I don't think I made any sound. Must be my mic receiving alien transmissions. I think I'm done for now, guys. Oh yeah, rocket chest. Rocket chest. Okay, someone reminded me. I have to show rocket chest. And so now I'm gonna try to get on that chest before it takes off. And here we go, lift off. Why does this even happen? Uh, so it, I'm not sure the exact reasons why this happens, but like it, because of that glitch where you uh, respawn the other room, when I go in the water, it actually causes the well room to spawn twice, or like to double load the chest. And so right now it's actually two chests. Sometimes you can see and sometimes you can't, but um, it's actually two chests stacked on top of each other. And I guess it's like the chests are pushing each other up, something like that, maybe? But um, yeah, it's just very strange. And also, at some point, uh, you get to the height limit of the game. The, uh, if I just keep waiting, eventually I'll get to a point where weird stuff happens. Here we go. This is the max height value. And Link is getting squished. Uh oh, I'm gonna hit myself. Oh no, I didn't. Where's the bongo? Oh, it falls. 
Right now it doesn't. Oh, huh. interesting. No. Well, there we go. Here, let me. I I saved a state in midway up. I'll try Dins this time. Uh, you can't. Wait, what? Why'd I fall? Okay, I used Dins just in time. Oh, I, I fall through the chest if I use it. Falling back down. So this is how you get up to this ledge early. Just an alternate method. A little more convoluted than other methods, but it works. Oh, also, while I'm here, while I'm here, I'll show some other stuff. Like this low gravity glitch. If you swim into vines and equip Iron Beach right as you grab the vines, uh, you keep the like floaty property of water, and so you get floaty jump. Oh, I double loaded the skulls. Cool. And so I can use this floaty jump to do an ultra flip. Okay, so anyway, have I hacked my Wii? Yes. All of the thing, the reason I can play the Japanese version, multiple different OOT ROM hacks, and all that stuff is because my Wii is hacked. You're telling Reggie? Oh, and what's he gonna do now? Ask me to play Mario Kart with him? Because you know, I can play Mario Kart Wii with my good friend Reggie on a hacked Wii. My name is R for Reggie. I'm not doing normal 100% runs today, mainly because I wouldn't really have the time um, because of the low tad happening later today. So today at 9pm uh, EST, I'm streaming a new Ocarina of Time low tad. It's like a demonstration pass run for a neat category, and there will be guest commentators and everything. And you know, if I if I did a hundo run, then I could run the risk of going too long. And I mean the same with this, but this is shorter, so you know, give me gives me more time. OTAD stands for Low Optimization Tool Assisted Demonstration. No, I will actually be commentating this time. Uh, fast request any percent is 11 minutes. I yelled at Torge a bunch to do a bunch to do runs on it, and he got like 11:30. Crazy how fast it is. Dude. <laughs> Leave me alone. Nice. Dude, let me do the bonk setup. Dude, get away. Forward super slide. Where's Darkwing going? Why was he the why was he not coming towards me? Oh, it might just be because I have Nerves Love on. No! I didn't want to be I didn't save a save state. Does this freeze him in place? Uh that's a good idea. I'll try killing him and see if the forward has works. Yep, completely normal. Could be Darkling setting weird flags, yeah. So then, like, is it is it gonna be impossible for me to weird shot, or is there like some kind of weird movement I can do? I feel like there should be some way with Nerys Love I could weird shot. Normal Hess, and as soon as he spawns, yeah, the moment he spawns, my speed changes. That is super weird. Okay, now now I have to go try this somewhere else and see if it specifically is the Dark Link actor. All right, so I'm in Hyrule Field, just minding my business, doing a Hess. Now time to spawn Dark Link. Yep. So Dark Link's act- the existence of Dark Link's actor prevents Hessing. That is very interesting. I gotta wait until Nero's love wears off. Come on, Nero's love. This guy won't even approach. All right, here we go. Okay, he just gets close to me and then backflips. He's looking at me though. He knows I'm down here. Can you yeet on Dark Link as Young Link? I don't know. His legs are through the ground. Okay. I guess he follows a specific path. Not very concerned with me. Okay. I actually, yeah, I am. Can, I am curious where it's going. Let me follow this for a little bit.
He's going in a circle, isn't he? This is where I spawned him. Going back to his home. Migrating. He's going after Dark Link? <laughs> wow. He's on my side. Yeah, he really is. He's a good boy. There we go. I... I didn't mean to do that. He jumped in the water. Are you gonna climb out? Can he find his way out of the water? Come on, Dark Link, it's over here. He did it. No! <laughs> okay, he's up. No. No. I hit him. Cool. Are you serious? This guy can talk to me on the horse? Are you gonna talk to me? He did talk to me. I did not get off of Pona. That's very interesting. And Darkling's still there. He's determined. He'll find me no matter where I am. Okay, climb the ladder. Climb the ladder, boy. Come on. He's trying to attack the ladder. I don't think that'll work. No, he's moving towards it and not climbing it. Or wait, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he won't climb it. Yeah, he's not climbing. He is climbing. He just can't climb very much. Okay, so Dark Link can f can climb, but then instantly fall. Let Dark Link fall into lava. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that, that was great. See if he can activate blue orbs. That could be interesting. I gotta push him into it. No, he doesn't get activated by it. He's stealing the stones. He's all the way in the back. He's walking towards the wall. Oh, now he's coming back. And he's going back to the wall. He's kind of being annoying during the cutscene. Can Dark Link beat Ocarina of Time without touching a rupee? Gee, I wonder. Oh, you guys want to see something interesting? She has a face inside her face. No. No, it doesn't look like he can get eaten. No, I don't think it sucked me up in replacement of him. I'm pretty sure that was just me getting sucked up normally. But I'll, I'll try more, just to make sure. Wait, maybe. Hold on. I can't tell. I can't tell if the like like has super long reach, or... Or if he's grabbing Dark Link and making me get eaten. Wait, yeah, dude. I guess he is. Yeah, I should try this in Hyrule Field, in a less enclosed space. Yeah, like like warp across Hyrule Field. Yeah. Yeah, he's warping me all the way there. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Amazing. Load position. All the way over there. That was a long way. That was a long suck. Marth grab range. Almost. Okay, but for real, I think that's all for messing around with Dark Link, because um, the Lotad is going to happen soon. So, anyway, wh what is what is this run we're doing here? I'm glad you asked. Ocarina of Time Pacifist. The goal is to beat the game without attacking a single enemy or a Cuckoo. I, th I think living things such as grass don't count. You can kill grass, but any actual enemies you can't kill. Okay, so so vegetarian but not vegan. That's one way of putting it. Wait, how's he gonna get into the castle without killing Taylon? Uh, good point. I guess. I guess he's gonna peacefully tell him to go away. Oh, hey, it worked. Nice double chew mega flip. Does anyone actually know what this cutscene's about? 
Like, what's happening here? Uh, Zelda asked Link if Link uh, got the Kakiri Emerald, and he obviously did not, as we did not see that. But she forces him to say yes, and um, forces Link to be a liar. Man, gonna steal a pony with Bonchies. That was pretty cool. Okay, so this proves that stealing is ethical, as well as lying. Yep. Stealing, lying, and suicide are okay, as long as you're not hurting others. This run's pretty wholesome. If you if you do any kind of warp, like a, a warp song, or an actual warp with Furrow's Wind, it just adds a... It's supposed to set the timer to one second, which then goes to zero immediately and then expires it. But uh, in this case, since it's frozen, it just stays at one. And <laughs> so there, uh, he used that jump again to use Furrow's Wind as he entered Lon Lon. And this lets him enter Lon Lon with different coordinates um, than he's supposed to. And now that frozen timer can be unfrozen with certain types of text. And Malin here has a certain type of text to unfreeze the timer, I think, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. but you have to be on opponent. Yeah, it's your opponent. Uh, okay. Yeah, so the timer's going to unfreeze and the camera's going to fade out. And that's time. Hyrule is saved. Okay, there's a few of you that might not understood anything that just happened. So let me reiterate. Basically, Link talked to Malon as a kid. He made friends with her in Epona. And then as an adult, he talked to her again. Her dad knows Ganondorf. They're good friends. She convinced him to not do bad things. And they were saved. The end. Good story. Ocarina of Time, the, the masterpiece story of resolving conflict with words. All right, let's just jump into the next run. All right, so time to announce the Lotad number two. Zero pause. Wow. Uh, the fact that this run exists is an absolute miracle. Because yeah. The trick that made it possible hasn't even existed for a week. It, it was literally found three or four days ago. It was found February 17th, and this is February 21st. Just to give some perspective, um, this, like, the watching the previous Lotad, the one we just watched, that was announced, I think, like, two days before um, this trick was found that made this possible. So this is, like, a last-minute, barely got out in time kind of thing. So, yeah, this will be a run where Ocarina of Time will be beaten without pressing the start button a single time. Everything you have to do in the start button, equipping items, equipping important equipment, all those kinds of things, nothing like that will be done. The start button will not be pressed, and Hyrule will be saved. Yeah, so again, this is incredibly precise, and since he's holding something, um, there's not really a whole lot of movement options yeah, to, like uh, to make this much faster. So anyway, what he's going to do is, using this rock, he can talk to the guy, and the rock will push him through at the same time as he talks to him. Which will happen in just a second. Actually, the guard's just gonna get bored and let him in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lake normally runs at all around 11 units a frame or so. So, like, to move in increments of one one thousandth of a unit. Yeah, it's, it's incredibly precise. So, for those that can't read Japanese, basically what's happening in this cutscene is that Sari is like, oh, you want to do zero pause? Take this ocarina. Now, I know what you're thinking. Egg? Yeah. Just keep a mental note of it, it'll come in handy later. Okay, we're just going to the graveyard to pay Reggie respects. Add that to your notepad, soon, man. it'll come up later. As long as he can do this final slash without pausing, he's good. Alright, there we go. And that's Ocarina of Time beaten without pausing a single time. So yeah guys, it looks like this will be the end. I hope you all enjoyed watching this. This was pretty pretty good to watch. Glad I could share it with you guys all. So um, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.